what are the things that actually may be helpful in some cases and not necessarily helpful in others? Every situation is unique, both from the underlying problems that the individual has that has the diagnosis, as well as the cancer type. And then finally, what treatment you're getting? One is mushrooms and mushroom supplements. So turkey tail, for instance, it's been used in Asia for decades as actually an adjunct to traditional treatments. And so there's actually a lot of data out there about it. But in terms of in more Western cultures, trying to incorporate it into our treatment regimens has been very difficult. And so I usually tell people, especially actually on immunotherapy, we are pulling back, I think, in general on turkey tail use. It basically increases that immune function. And so we don't want to, you know, contraindicate what we're doing with immunotherapy by throwing in another immune stimulator. And I would say I don't necessarily recommend it with chemotherapy either because the FDA doesn't rec regulate supplements in the U.S. And so they're extremely cautious about brands and dosing and what's actually going to work and, you know, not cause a greater problem. And so a lot of those things like turkey tail, I might use it in the survivorship setting where we're off of chemotherapy, we're off of immunotherapy, you know, trying to rebuild the immune system now, trying to recover. Same thing with something like lion's mane, another mushroom, um, it could be very good for memory and cognition. So when you have that chemo brain post-treatment, that might be another time to to use that. So I definitely like to focus on um, what are things that are going to support the immune system. As we were talking about, the immune system is always on surveillance for these types of things. An adequate protein in the diet. A protein is a building blocks of our cells and of antibodies. So you're getting adequate protein from the diet, um, which is especially challenging for those going through cancer treatment. But then we also have to look at getting adequate vitamins and minerals like vitamin C right, and zinc and vitamin D. And I think the problem is that people are looking for sometimes just this one, what's the one supplement I can take that's going to support my immune function? It's more complex than that. And we want to look at the dietary pattern that is supporting your immune system. 